And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make like a pad synth sound um, just using vocals and simpler. Cool, let's crack on with it. So we have a vocal. That's that's essential for the first step, by the way. Making uh, synths from vocals, you need a vocal. Cause it feels right, and I will stop to pretend. Cool. Once you have a vocal, you're looking for a sustained note, and so I've discovered this one in the pack. Pretend. It's got a little pitch kind of rise before it, and we don't want that. But yeah, new audio track, and I think this was the best part that worked for me. So I'm gonna just select that section, um, press Command E, don't know what it is for Windows, sorry, it might be Control E, I think, and just Alt drag it in here, solo this channel and see what we got. Cool, vocal drop melody's coming soon. <laughs> and once you have this little section, uh, right click, convert, melody, MIDI, and we'll see it's A. Does that sound right? A sounds right to me. Cool, so we know it's an A. Now it's time to load up a simpler, uh, create a new MIDI track, simpler, and I'm gonna drag our little vocal selection that we got here into here. Tidy this up a bit, we could go crop sample, turn snap off. So we should be able to play this like an instrument. I'm just gonna jam on my keyboard. So we wanna make sure warping is off and looping is on and that sounds terrible but we're not there yet okay control since it was an A it needs to go up three semitones A sharp B sharp to C so that should be C if I'm right cool back out of the controls back into sample and and now we know that when we're playing notes it's gonna be the right ones according to MIDI. Loop on. And once I've mucked around with the fade length and loop to get it right, like. It sounds awful, but we'll fix it soon. ADSR time. This is also personal preference, but in order to do like a pad, you want kind of like a slow attack and a longish release on it. It's just like tapping notes. And the more notes we're playing, the more voices we're gonna need, so I'm gonna do like 16 to be on the safe side. Actually, we probably don't need 16, that's a bit over, that's a bit over the top. Speaking of over the top... I'm joking, we don't need OTT. Maybe. Yet. Cool, so that's basically it and simpler. Um, and now it's just time to add effects. So I'm gonna start with a chorus. Kinda add the width. Reverb, muck around with some settings. I'm kind of happy with my default ones at the moment. And then filter delay to finish it off. And yo, that's, that's it. Maybe I would want OTT, because, like, there's a few high frequencies that are just too much. Or just OTT and little, little mounts. Ah, uh, okay, no, we need to <laughs> wrap it up there, Sam, come on. Get it together. Yeah, quite simple, really. Ah, uh, that was bad. I'll just run you through what I did quickly. Um, I found a long, sustained vocal note in the stem, chopped it, um, created right click create a new uh, convert melody to MIDI track um, so I could tell what note it is when I drag it into simpler uh, yeah drag it into simpler um, go to the controls change the pitch to get it right so whenever you're playing a C it actually is a C etc etc uh, make sure warping's not on looping and then adjusting the settings to kind of make sure it, it repeats itself over and over again and the, the kind of loop is almost seamless I don't think you can get it perfect with many samples but yeah it'll kind of blur that effect when you get to the effects later on um, attack decay sustain release didn't do the decay or sustain did the attack kind of made it kind of a slow riser um, release so let go of the note kind of rings on a bit 
and then some chorus for some width, um, OTT optional, reverb is essential for masking the bad looping, uh, <laughs> and just adding some extra tail and width and just overall goodness to it, and then filter delay to kind of mask the bad looping even more, and just some more delay and etc etc on top of that. Cool, so I'm going to wrap it up there. If you did like the vocal stem, uh, plenty more where that came from in our new pack, like I said at the start of the video. Uh, link in the description, of course. It's got a heap of stems, phrases, one-shots, all that goodness, so jump on that. Cool, thanks for watching, guys.